All right, today I'm going to show you how to get um, certain applications working for uh, any firmware version. Um, as you can see, I'm in 1.1.1. Uh, so if I try to install, let's say, uh, Thunderboard, it'll tell me that I need to be in 1.1.3. I'll go ahead and uh, just show you what the error message looks like. So I'm going to go down to, uh, go down to System. And if I go down and try to install uh, Summerboard, click Install, Install, it's going to download it. Um, it's going to tell you uh, that a firmware version of 1.3 is required for the first Summerboard. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to fix that so you can run it on uh, any version. I'm on 1.1, this will work if you're like on 1.2 or the new 1.1.4. Uh, what you want to do is uh, make sure your iPod's connected. You want to go into uh, WinSCP. If you don't know how to use this program or don't know how to set it up, you can watch my video how to do it. Go into login. All right, what you want to do is click on this little folder with up arrow. You want to go all the way to the beginning. You want to go into uh, system. And then library and then uh, core services and this is the file that you're going to want to open up and uh, change so to get to this file it's uh, system slash library slash core services so you want to double click on this file and it'll open up as you can see down this last uh, part right here it says 1.1.1 .1 .1. Change that one to a three, and then click save. The little save icon. You can go ahead and close, uh, close it if you'd like. Now, if we go back to our um, your iPod or iPhone, let's see if we go into uh, settings. Just should show you uh, general, and then about. You can see it says uh, version 1.0.3. I'm going to go ahead and install Summerboard just to show you that it does work. Install. Go down to System. Down to Summerboard. Install. Install. Like I said, if, you, there, if there's any programs that say that uh, firmware 1.3 is required and you're not on firmware 1.3, you can go ahead and do this to uh, change it to make it work. So you can see it gave me that error. It's telling you to restart your iPhone for this change to take effect. Um, but that's it. It's real simple, real easy. Um, don't forget to check out my website.